dudes, how's it going? It's Rabia. <clears throat> hope everyone's good today. Really quick video because this is a really exciting one for all you guys that want to win some free things. Or should I say, one lucky guy. Um, it's a really quick one. Basically, the video, as, as you can see, is named Beer's Pick Hall. And it's a little competition. Um, I've been l searching for the perfect pick for a long time now. And for me personally, I've landed on the, um, the Dunlop Jazz 3 XL, the uh, Ultex pick. Uh, I swear by them, I think they're fantastic. But as of late, I had some other pick companies send me some new picks, said, Do you want to try these out? Absolutely, I will do. So I've got a load of new picks here that I've been trying out, and there are some that I like and some that I really like. Um, so it's really cool, and they're all really well made. So. Before I get into the competition details, let me just give you a quick introduction on these picks. So, first up we've got Stoneworks picks, made from solid stone, beautifully finished, handmade picks. Uh, the guy is called Mike Stone, which is wicked. Um, and basically, they're super, super sturdy, they're never going to wear down because it's solid stone. And, uh, yeah, they're awesome. Um, so yeah, really, really like these picks. I think. Yeah, if you can see, they're nicely packaged, and uh, I got two of these bad boys, and they're both the same sort of gauge, and they're both really long-lasting. They're super fast. I mean, I can shred all day with these picks, so that's that's good. So those are the Stoneworks picks. Next up, we've got some really lovely people at a company called Dragon Hearts Picks. Now they were they said, can we send you some picks? And I was like, by all means, send me them. And what they sent through was very unusual and unique shaped picks. I don't know if you can see that, but it's a very odd shaped pick. So it has a, a, a sort of thin tip, slightly wider, and then a completely rounded tip. But what's really interesting is it doesn't matter which way you hold it, it's still really comfortable in your hand. They're, they're super thick gauge. These aren't meant to wear down either, and the tone, the material they use, is meant to be like optimum for, for getting that tone from the pick. Um, in case any of you guys didn't know, you can get a lot of tone from a pick. Obviously, the nicest tone, in my opinion, is with your fingers, but for the style of music I play, I couldn't use my fingers and my fingers alone, so that's why I use picks. But um, these are completely handmade, and the guys there are really passionate about their products, and I think they've done a fantastic job. And these are going to appeal to a certain audience in the, in the guitar playing industry. And I, I really do think, you know, there's three of them there, bad boys. And I really do think that they're going to do, going to do pretty well because these are the kind of picks that takes a little bit of time getting used to it. But once you're there, you'd probably never want to change back. So um, really well done on these picks, fantastic job. So the next lot of picks that I've got here are made by Jim Dunlop, and they're called Prime Tones. And these are new out this year, uh, a nice little bag. And these are hand burnished, hand sculpted picks. And um, what was really cool is when I was at the NAMM show, I got to meet Jim Dunlop Jr. Um, and he's a, he's a wicked guy, he's quite funny. And I had the pleasure of going out for dinner with him, some drinks and stuff like that with the Panama guys. And he gave me this pack and he said, these are literally brand new, so check them out. And uh, the only downer for me was that these are Jazz 3, so they're too small for my hands. But one thing that he did give me, which I'm sure some of you guys are going to be really excited about, is a brand new pick that these are made specifically, and this came out of his private stash, a brand new pick for Tosa Nabasi from Animals as Leaders. So as you can see here, this is the one, and it's basically uh, just the XL version of the Jazz 3, which you'd think, oh well you can use it then, but it's 0.73 mil, so it's a bit thin for me. But these are specifically made for Tosa Nabasi, you can't get them, so there you go. There's a special little, special little one in there, and uh, yeah, I mean Jim Dunlop will be making accessories for over 40 years. I mean, like they're going to be doing it well, and hence I'm using the Ultex Jazz 3 XL. They're awesome. Now on to the last pick company that I've been speaking to as of late. These guys are based in England. Um, they use the exact same materials or thereabouts as Red Bear, which I'm sure some of you know about. They're awesome picks. They're quite expensive, but they're awesome. So these guys are based in the UK, they make from the same material, they're far more affordable and they're, they're, they're awesome. They sent me three picks, the guy there is called Rob and he works, uh, it's his company called Hawk Picks. So there you go, Hawk Picks, 
they come in a nice little bag and it's the same material as Red Bear and these are cool because they've got custom bevels which is basically the angling of the pick so it allows you to play faster um, and he's given me three different sizes and they're all awesome I mean they're all a little bit big for me because I've been using the XL but for most guys you know you use normal size picks um, they're stunning they sound great actually it feels just like a Red Bear but um, with the beveling which is something Red Bear I don't think they do uh, it's made a huge difference so really impressed with that um, and these guys, are, I've been speaking to them via email and we're going to look at maybe bringing out a pick or working on a pick that suits the kind of thing that I look for in a pick, so similar size to the Jassu XL with a couple of different grip options, but who knows. So I'm going to supply um, a couple of each of these picks so that you guys can check them out because I think it's really important you choose the right pick and normally I'd say go down to your guitar shop and choose like one of each pick from the cabinet and have a go and see what works for you. So basically I'd like to help that as well by you know giving you a, a couple of different picks to try out and see what you think because it's worth investing some time and money in to find the right one. So yeah the competition for Beers Pick Hall is you have to do an impression of me uh, and that could basically I just want to be able to laugh I, want, I just want to laugh uncontrollably at someone's impression of me so all you have to do is make a video, upload it to YouTube Hashtag beers pick hole and and let me see it and I'm I'm just up for laughing. You could wear an afro wig, you could put a load of pillows under your t-shirt, uh, you could just dance around with a guitar being an being an idiot. I don't care. Just the best impression of me. I've got all these picks: the Stoneworks, the Dragon Hearts, the Hawk, the Jim Dunlop Prime Turn, including the Tosin Abassi. And also, if I wasn't nice enough already, this is. This is the Jim Dunlop uh, Tortex pick, but this is the first one I ever had that I used and, and realised that picks are really important. And this is the first one that I had um, that I hung on to. All the rest have disappeared except for this one. Uh, but I'm going to give that away too to the person uh, that wins this competition. So, basically, to win all that stuff and even more stuff, two packs of Didario uh, NYXL strings uh, that are just amazing. These are 10 to 46. So you got all these picks, there's loads of picks here, and two packs of strings. There's about 50 quid, maybe 60 quid worth of picks here, and two packs of NYXLs, and uh, a little token of my appreciation, which is the first pick that I ever properly used. And all you have to do, and I'll post anywhere as well, so if you win I can post it to wherever you are. So all you have to do is make that video, hashtag beers pick hall. competition ends 10th of April, so get your videos in quick and if you if you want to send me a message on YouTube to say here's my video or whatever go for it but uh, yeah the funniest impression will win all this stuff so thanks for sticking around and supporting me with everything I'm doing on YouTube and Dorje you're all legends so here you go take it easy